Hey guys, what is up? The Neo Cubist here. Welcome to my super ultra compact survival home. It's got everything you could ever need to live. Lots of storage, anvils, uh, furnaces. You've got a full enchantment table down here. You have a nice little farm for melons and you also have a full like brewing room over here. A nice cauldron, bed for sleeping and everything you could ever need to live. So yeah, let's get to the tutorial. All right, so the first step in completing your spruce house, you're gonna need the materials from how far below, by the way. But you're gonna take one, two, three, four, five, six blocks, and you're gonna place them horizontally. The logs are gonna be placed horizontally, and then we are going to do that again for a total of three times. So pretty simple, not too complicated. I have full faith that you guys will be able to complete this task here. Now, as you can see, the end caps are like this. They're gonna look like this in the end, so there's four spaces in the middle. So the end ones, you can go ahead and just bring up like this. Does not matter what the block, well actually, it is gonna matter what the block is under it. So on the end caps here, or whatever you wanna call them, go ahead and make sure they face up. And then go ahead and place one spruce log right there for your entryway, and then go ahead and just do this real quick. Uh, I did not, I missed that one. I, I saw that, guys, don't worry. And then right here, we're just gonna break this out, and then we're going to bring this down. So it's gonna break down a total of one, two, three, four blocks. So four blocks on top, one, two, three, four again. You wanna break out the area under the entire build. So anywhere that you have built, you dig that out, even like right here, and I'll explain why in a moment. So again, just digging it out four blocks, four blocks, and then just going over. And we should do that uh, two more times. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Actually, I don't even think, nope, it's not one, two. It's not one, two, guys. Don't do one, two. You'll mess up. But luckily, I still have grass in my hotbar. You won't need that for the build, by the way. But I just have grass because I know I'm going to mess up. Now, go ahead and do a cobblestone floor inside of here. So, pretty quick. Again, this is a very simple build to do. But it's ultra compact. The interior is going to be most of the tutorial. Because it's actually, like, it's like a really thought out interior. I designed that previously. So, we're not going to be, like, hap haphazardly just designing it as we go this time. Which is nice. Which is always nice. Um... As far as these blocks right here, you just want to fill them in with spruce. That's going to be your wall material. So, oh, yep, sorry. I, I was like, am I breaking the top layer? But I remembered I placed, like, grass there. So, it's, it's all good. It's all good, guys. Uh, I didn't break this one out far enough, so that's not good. Uh, if you want to go ahead and just, yeah, bring those down, too. You can see that one was facing sideways. This one also needs to be facing down, so just go ahead and do that everywhere. Again, not too hard. I have full faith you guys can complete this task. Um, up top, in between these right here, just go ahead and place logs that face inside. So do you see what I'm saying right here? Inside like that. And then go ahead and just fill this in with glass. And then fill this in with glass as well. And then if you just want to take another log down right here and bring it up. And then put some ladders on it, you'll have your entrance. And then you can just put a trap door just right there. And it'll look nice from the up top. Again, this build is mainly going to be inside. This is not one of those exterior builds because it's underground. So everything that looks good is actually going to be under here. Um, we're going to go ahead and just fill all of this in with spruce wood. And now you have the interior done. So now I'm going to grab everything we're going to need for this wonderful interior. And I will be right back. So this wall right here is pretty simple to complete. You're just going to do double chests with some anvils on top. This wall is also going to be two more chests, but we're going to go ahead and place a furnace in here in each block. Right here, we're going to break this down, one, two, and we're just going to come inside of here and break out a three by three square, just like this. Pretty simple. This is just for the full enchantment table so that we can place that in here. That's right, guys. We got a full freaking enchantment table. Woo! So, uh, yeah, this is a good 4th of July build. I'm in, I'm in a, I got a pretty good vibe going, and I'm really happy. It's 4th of July. Nice little day off from everything. Not for me, because I'm always working, but... You know, I mean, I, I don't consider this like work. I actually, I, I enjoy doing this. It's not something I'm like, oh, I gotta, I gotta work, uh, you know, but some people, you know, they have those sort of things and that's okay. We're just gonna put the, le oh, make sure you don't do that and make sure you put your enchantment table down. That's gonna be a very good thing. And you can also take some torches down here if you wanna light everything up nice and uh, nice and bright, you can do that. And that won't detract from the full 30, I promise. And uh, yeah, so let's just come back up here. And also, I was just thinking, if you want to put an ender chest, you're going to have to put it, like, up here. So, uh, instead of, like, one of these being, a, like, a normal chest, you could just put an ender chest. I was just thinking about that because I know that there's not really, like, room for that. All right, now, as far as this goes, we're going to take a bed on this wall. There we go. And then we are going to take some furnaces. And uh, we're going to put some furnaces right here. And face this one on the outside, face this one on the inside. And then just do two crafting tables. All right. So now let me grab some more materials, and I'll be right back. And before I forget about this wall, I promise I won't forget about it, we're going to do some furnaces right there. Then we're also going to do some more furnaces. Then we're going to do a stair facing outwards, and a pot, and then a blue orchid. 
Uh, as far as lighting goes in this main room, it's pretty easy to do. Like you can just you can just do it like that. Then you have a lot of lights in here. Okay, so now let's grab all the materials to make this, and I'll be right back. All right, so let's go ahead and break this one block back, two blocks back, three, four, five, six, and seven. So you're gonna do a total of seven blocks back. Right here is actually going to be a little water pool. You'll understand why in a moment. We're gonna place some stairs like this and then like this. And then in the back of here, you can just go ahead and fill it in with whatever wall material you use. I'm just gonna use spruce. And then you're actually gonna to wanna to just make sure that all of this is the right material because it's gonna be kind of a pain when there's water there. So we can go ahead and grab the water now. We're not gonna need these stairs anymore. So double water right there. Uh, along this entire like ceiling, you wanna do slabs because this block is actually the surface. So you don't wanna like do that. That'd be kind of detrimental to you. Um, right here, we are going to place glowstone. And then right here, we're gonna place glowstone as well. And then uh, on these end blocks right here, there's actually not gonna be glowstone, my bad. Uh, I guess you could leave glowstone, but it might look a little bit funky with what's like gonna go right there. So just put two full solid blocks right there. Go ahead and just place your brewing stands down. Um, get access to the back behind them. Make sure that they are the right material. And then go ahead and do the same thing here, the right material. And then you kind of guess what we're gonna do here. We're gonna do a nice little soul sand brewery area, something you can do. You could. Uh, find a place for a cauldron, I'm sure. Um, if you, actually, that's actually a really good idea for that, since that's like an empty space, I guess, technically. And uh, someone did suggest a tripwire hook for the cauldron, so I'm going to go ahead and just grab everything I'm going to need for the cauldron real quick. Won't need any more of those slabs, but the under material, like right here, that's going to be like under everything. Or I guess the floor material. <laughs> the under material. Yeah, wow, I'm, I'm doing great with that. The under material. No, it's actually good. Oh, that looks so much better. Whoever suggested that, thank you a million. That is, that's actually really cool. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much your entire room in here. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you want to see more compact tutorials like this and more, click that subscribe button. Uh, nope, I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Oh, no. Oh no, don't forget the melons. Don't forget the melons, guys. Um, put four squares of dirt right there. Go ahead and take a hoe that's diamond, or any, it doesn't matter really. And then take some bone meal, and then some melon seeds, and the melon itself if you're like, uh, in, you know, creative and you're just sort of cheating like me. Also keep in mind that these blocks right here are going to open up, and uh, you want to place the material there if you're really OCD like myself. And uh, there we go. So now when the melons break, you can always hop out. Well, you can't really hop over, but you, you can just like break the melon, go grab some water. And then that basically, every time you want to make a potion, it forces you to get some water or get some like melons. So that's good for as far as like your survival guy goes, because he's going to have a lot of food. You also have that full enchantment table. So yeah, leave a like for this awesome compact survival home. If you guys liked this tutorial, let's try to get 2,000 likes in this video. That would be seriously so awesome. I really, really appreciate all the amazing support. Everyone have a happy 4th of July. If you guys want to know anything about the uh, texture pack, shader pack, any of that fun stuff, it's all in the description below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, definitely click that subscribe button and uh, turn on notifications. That way you'll be one of the first people to know about my amazing, super cool survival tutorials. I have a bunch, guys, I promise. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.